get out of there. Oh, Ooh, there he is. There he goes. Good. Oh, Ooh, there he is. Then came out of the water. Spit it out. Of there. What's up, you guys? And good morning. We are back at it, and we're on Lake Apopka. We're on the Harris Channel Lakes, and. This weather has got me a little, little sidetracked here. So it's like 70 degrees right now. We're gonna get into the high 80s, five to 10 mile an hour south wind. Pressure's been dropping, but it's still, it's still in the 30s, 30.1 I'd say. And we're gonna go south. We're gonna look for clear water. We're gonna look for offshore structure and offshore cover, more offshore cover here. There's not a lot of structure, but there is some structure, as you guys know or may not know. Structure and cover, that's not a term you can use interchangeably. Structure is the bottom contour, the depth changes, points, ditches, humps. Cover is, you know, your grass, your wood, um, things that the fish can hide in and rock, stuff like that. So in Florida, it's different. You know, you can go to most lakes and if you find good structure, you're gonna have fish, and you're gonna catch them. Here you gotta have cover, whether there's structure or not. So we're gonna look for stuff offshore. We're gonna try that. But if it stays cloudy, it might be tough. If we don't find anything, we don't see any fish, we can't get a bite. <laughs> we're gonna try not to suck today, but we'll move shallow, plan A flip. The, if we have clouds, we'll, we'll fish moving baits, top water like buzz bait type stuff around some of this shallow cover. So we're gonna go out here, hit the road, navigate this extremely low water. It looks like it's lower than the last time I was here, but we're gonna go catch some. We'll see y'all in a minute. All right, so we found a brush pile out here and it's freaking loaded, but it's hard to tell what exactly is on it. So we're gonna just kind of fish around it and see what we can, what we can get. There's fish all around it. It's clear down here, so that's that's good because the sky was complete clouds when I was driving over here, and I was like, oh great. You gotta have some sun in Florida. I used to like fishing cloudy, overcast days, but it's a little tricky here. There we go, boys. Let's go. That's funny. When that thing pitched in there, I saw that. I saw right where it hit those reeds kind of move. Well, we may be flipping today. Plan A it is. That's a decent little two and a half pounder, I'd say. All right, guys. Take him. I feel like I need to go to a half an ounce just so I can get it in there quick. Ah, yeah, he ain't two and a half, two, two, three. Yeah, he's long, but he doesn't have a lot of, a lot of, uh, a pop go weight on him. What's the saying? If you can't beat them, join them. I really like to catch them offshore, but. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Little reed line pocket. And I was not, I was in there a little bit. Got five feet here. 74 degrees. transition bank so this is these reeds look like that reed moved 
these reeds start and this Kissimmee grass miss it, mixes in with it. So this is just straight Kissimmee grass. But then you got this little patch right here, this transition spot where you got both. way up under that dog. He actually ate it. Let's eat. Oh, but he ain't big. He is not big at all. That's not, that's not the pop cabasses. Sometimes you can't just flip it in there and and pull it out. You gotta work it out a little bit, especially. I was kind of focusing on those uh, these little patches of eelgrass. I mean, that's where I get the bites with chatterbait, dredging it through there. They're sitting in that stuff. And then you got a good little drop right here, right when you come out of it. Last time they were freaking thrashing these baits they're just not fired up let's just say he was coming out though all that little bait flickering and you know the crazy thing the way that bait just flickered up like that it's exactly like a buzz bait spitting that water <sighs> Check these brush piles again. Get out of there. Finally got me one out of there. Dang, dude. That's all I can get is your little butt. <laughs> That's why people flip. <laughs> he was in that thing, too. I don't know that I would have got a five pounder out of that. Well, I got a color. They'll eat. I don't know why I didn't start with it, but I just felt like I should go more translucent. But we only got about a foot visibility out here. He's right in the pile. Come on, man, we can get him fired up. out of it. I'll take it. I'll take you, homie boy. Where'd my worm go? Little joker. Another drop shotter. Another small one though. Oh, it's a damn mudfish. It's 
I'm moving. Oh man, you son of a gun. It's funny, when I was younger, I used to just pick these things up. I don't know what I'm doing. These guys over here probably think I just caught a donkey. Jeez. Look at that, guys. Thought I had a monster. These guys are probably like, what the freak? You just caught a 10 pounder, man. It still was fun. Here. There we go, little boys. Still not three. So like two and a half, I'm guessing. Two six. Not even two and a half pounds. Still a nice fish. It's pretty. Good you are still a pretty guy. Most of my fish have been coming working it, working it away from the cover. I mean, not one in, flip in, pull it out, flip in, pull it out. Swimming it though. Probably should be throwing a little, little crankbait in these areas. Look this square, square bill around. There seems to be these little schools of fish roaming around. If you catch one on a worm that you're reeling in, usually you can go in there with a chatterbait, moving bait, start catching fish. Pretty good. Especially if you're fishing a worm, not getting a lot of bites, but then you get one when it when you reel it in. Oh, there he is. I don't know if that's a bass or oh damn another tilapia. What the heck is going on in this place? Look at that guys. That's a monster. Why are they why are they going after these crank? these baits that they don't want to go after. That is exactly why this lake is full of crud and muck. These things are eating the grass. They're defecating, peeing, releasing excre excrement, and then that is feeding the growth of more. And muck. That's why. That's why I'm trying to get these. They say it's gizzard chad, but I think it's these things too. Well, camera wasn't on. There we go. Good lord. not wanting to come out. She meant Christmas. Man, he hit it as soon as he hit the water. 
short little joker. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Chatter Ned. Man, he's shallow too. Can't even freaking move him. Probably didn't help that I was backhanded. There's another one. Another. Man, it feels like they're spawning in here. There's two. Chatter Ned to the rescue. Really? Freaking another tilapia dive. What in the world now? This one uh, this one freaking just got snagged. Dude, stop. Jeez. That's weird. There you go, shiner guy. Got you another tilapia. <laughs> it's not as big as the last one. That's why these bass are so big in here. That's what they eat. Oh, there it is. Oh. Mm. Man, they're just not eating it good. Oh, oh. So I'll meet it. Little though. They're not. What does that tell me? Let's be the color. There we go. Little one. Oh my gosh. Another tilapia. Son of a gun. What's up with all these freaking tilapias? buddy that probably hurt another little one I missed several too they're just not really they're going after it but they're not really eating it a commitment which probably should change something on it but we can't take the net off and with these clouds and the water up here is a lot more stained. I mean, I really feel like this is the color to go with. There he is. Look at that, man. Super huge cash. What the? Why are they not biting it? Why are they not eating it good? That thing came out of the water. Spit it out at me. That's so weird. All right, so we are headed home. Florida junk fishing at its finest. Um, inshore, offshore. I don't know if I, why I didn't stick to one thing. I think I just, I really wanted to make the offshore thing happen and it just didn't. Um, one thing I definitely realized I got a lot of work to do on fishing brush piles. It's hard to, it's hard to, I mean, once you get on it and you, and you line up, but if you try to move to change angel angles as the wind changes, it's 
kind of hard to get back on them the wind picks up you can't make as long of a cast so yeah it's um it's something um broke off several times but went in flipped caught some flipping caught some with the chatterbait um pulled out a crankbait caught that mudfish that was freaking awesome man i thought i had a donkey and um wish it was a donkey that would have been cool still fun still fun catching them flipping um obviously so that was cool and then multiple tilapias um but i don't think i caught any in the mouth i think they all kind of snagged so why are they going after my bait it's kind of weird um do these fish do those fish like spawn like <laughs> all year long or what but um yeah junk fishing day fun day covered some water checked some new stuff found some new stuff found some brush piles building a little bit of something here on um lake apopka thanks for watching please hit that like and subscribe to help me out with the channel and we will see you next time on be mass fishing